Well, I know it's cold right now, but think ahead to this summer when it's hot. Forget about wasting the day away mowing the lawn. There's a bunch of goats in Laurel hungry for business. MTN's Alina Howder has more in this week's edition of your Montana Ag Network reports. There's a big difference between the two sides of this fence, and that's all thanks to these goats. They're a part of Groovy Grazers, a Laurel-based business that uses a cute and sustainable way to maintain land. <laughs> Smokey may be little, but she has a really big job. We want to just outreach the community and kind of bring a different style of eco mowing. That's where Smokey and these bandits come in. They're chewing their cud. 14 Nigerian dwarf goats make up Morgan Prather's and Andy Cole's herd of groovy grazers. <laughs> They've been maintaining Clint Horton's property during this winter season. The grass and stuff that's over here, the whole place was like that back here. So they ate a lot of it. Cute and effective in more ways than one. Their little hooves are actually aerating the top of your soil. So they're walking around and just kind of adding the aeration. So then when they graze, they're also fertilizing. Goats are also a natural weed killer. Their digestive system renders the seeds useless. It's not causing any damage to your lawn because you're not spraying it. You're not adding in nutrition that is man-made. Natural and a big time saver for business owners like Clint. It's been awesome because I don't have like 10 hours to, to mow the pasture and and uh, all these other fields. He actually bought three goats from Groovy Grazers because he enjoys them so much. <laughs> Something Morgan and Andy want to offer to the rest of Montana. You are a star, Karen. We're gonna try and show up at multiple parades in town. We're looking at doing an Earth Day event. We're also doing birthday parties. As for this non-traditional lawn care service, their pricing is on par, if not a little cheaper than a traditional mowing company. But the Air Force vet is hoping to give back to all. We do offer heavy discounts for veterans, elderly, um, teachers, first responders. A groovy idea. Some would even say the greatest of all time. In Laurel, Alina Howder, MTN News. Ag census data from the USDA shows the number of farms in Montana declined by more than 10 percent between 2017 and 2022. But the number of new farms and farmers under the age of 35 increased. The census showed a total of more than 24,000 farms and ranches in the state, covering a combined 57.6 million acres. And the value of good produ goods produced rose from around $3.5 billion to $4.5 billion over a five-year period, with average farm income rising to nearly $47,000. Family-owned farms accounted for more than 90% of farms and 80% of farm land. The Census of Agriculture is conducted every five years.